Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are only going to be using towers and upgrades that have the letter A in them. We're going to do this on cubism, and I'm going to explain more about what that means right now. So towers that have an A in them. Well, we have Sada here for our hero. Has two A's. Doesn't matter. Just has to have an A. Dark Monkey has an A, and a lot of other towers have an A in them. However, for upgrades, I'm able to use sharp shots razor sharp shots because they have a's in them but i cannot use spike pult because it does not have an a in them now another thing i want to mention you can see juggernaut does have an a in it so i'm allowed to use juggernaut as long as i don't get any pops with spike pult and this goes with every tower and every upgrade in the game now one thing i am going to be doing for this specific video if i do this in the future i may change this rule but if there is a tower for example glue gunner that does not have an a in the name of the tower i am simply just not going to be using it and that's basically the basic roles and let's get started with Sada. Actually, I'm not gonna start with Sada because that's gonna be too easy. Monkey Buccaneer does have an A in it, so let's start with you. Now, in terms of upgrades, what do I want for this guy? I can go for Great Shot, but I cannot go for Hot Shot. I have to go straight to Cannon Ship if I do want Hot Shot, if that makes sense. This is definitely an interesting concept and I feel like it's gonna be a different challenge considering I'm gonna be getting a lot of different types of towers that I don't normally go for in combinations with others. This probably wasn't the best tower to go for in terms of upgrades. Okay, we do have Grape Shot with an A and we do have Faster Shooting with an A. So we're gonna go for that upgrade. Again, A is gonna be pretty simple. If I continue this series and we get to some other letters that are harder and not vowels, this will be significantly more challenging. You know what, before I get too far into it, let me make that a roll too. So what does have an A in it that's not too difficult? Some of these will be pretty difficult. Carve. Let's just try this pumpkin map, considering we're starting to get closer towards spooky season, even though it's only September, late September. We're starting to get into that vibe. So let's honor that with this map. And we're going to place down, what about an alchemist? Starts with the letter A. Place them in the middle and see what happens. In terms of upgrades, what do we have? Larger potions, acidic mixture dip, berserker's brew is not possible. Stronger stimulant is possible. You get the format now. I'm just going to go and play and see what I can get up when I have the funds to do so. We're attempting to beat hard during this challenge, unless maybe some some letters like X or something maybe I have to try and beat easy if there even is an upgrade with X in it I don't know but we do know is that stronger acid has an A in it so let's go for stronger acid considering we're starting to leak a little bit perishing potions does not have an A in it so we will not be going for that faster throwing does so I, that's probably gonna be our next upgrade faster throwing is now going to be acquired and we do have acid pull for our second upgrade, so we might as well go for that. This is not looking good. I think we might need to start going for a different tower altogether. So Dart Monkey has an A in it, so we're allowed to use it. Let's go and chuck him here and see what we can go for later. Long range darts has an A in it. Same thing with enhanced eyesight. And I'll probably go for the top path as well because both of these have A's in them. Sharp shots. Razor sharp shots. Enhanced eyesight. So now we have a 202. And we do have our camo popping power for now, but the crossbow is not going to be available to us until we get to sharpshooter. So we have to make sure we save up enough money to get through both of the tiers without popping any balloons with just a crossbow upgrade. Acid pull might be a good play here. Kind of like a pool of substance, plus it has an A in it. From here, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the alchemist. But right now, so far, this will be our lead popping power. That's your main job. And you're going to be pretty good once I acquire sharpshooter but i can't get crossbow in the meantime so that's that's the tricky part here maybe i just need to go for like the buccaneer again we're definitely in need of getting something up pretty soon so we need about two thousand like eight hundred dollars to get sharpshooter maybe a little bit more so that's what we're looking for i can't get crossbow or else this would be very much easier currently this is getting a little scary so i'm gonna check down a boomerang monkey improved rings glaives Glaive Ricochet. All have A in them. This will just barely save us. We have 19 lives, which is not ideal. We have Long Range Rangs, A's, and Red Hot Rangs that have A in it as well. Still going to save up for the Sharpshooter. I think getting a good solid fourth tier is going to be important. Plus, we have Camo Popping Power right now, which is nice. Maybe instead of going for Sharpshooter, maybe a smarter play is more Glaives. I think I like that a little bit better. Plus, we have good Lead Popping Power from this guy as well. And from there, we need to figure out our Moa Popping Power. More Glaives is now acquired, and we are able to get Glaive Lord if we want to save up that much but i don't think i will because i'm going to go for different upgrades and different towers that fulfill our camo need clearly we need a better camo popping power so i did indeed purchase more glaives so we do just simply need camo popping power the spike factory does have an a in it don't know if it's really the best here but i know it can instantly pop camo so does the ninja monkey actually let's just get the ninja monkey down two of them so we can survive this round so here we go we are able to go and get up sharp shooter 
but we cannot get any pops with our crossbow, so we're gonna upgrade it twice right there. No pops happened, and we're good to go. We have a mob coming up very shortly. We're gonna see how we handle it without any upgrades so we can save our money for stuff we need, just to see what our damage is right now. Incoming Moab, we do have more glaze, which will handle the ceramics pretty nicely inside. So if we do pop it, we might be able to get through it just like that. Wow, okay, not a big deal at all. I think I like going for the wizard monkey top path, because the top path is completely A's. And I can go for this path right here as the cross path. Again, this challenge is gonna get significantly harder when we're starting to get into like, even B might be difficult. I think I'll save up for arcane spike. Fortified ceramic blue is coming in, no problem. Arcane spike is now acquired. Our camo popping power is still not great. I think I'm gonna go for signal flare or at least something that can maybe get rid of the camo detection. Shimmer is not available to us. The monkey village is available to us. Radar scanner is indeed. Ooh, this is tricky. So like grow blocker does not have an A in it. So if any regen balloons get into its radius, that probably is not allowed. So radar scanner is probably out for that niche reason. So I'm gonna avoid the monkey village in this challenge and instead probably go for a signal flare because I saw signal flare does have an A in it. The mortar alone has an A in it. So you can do damage damage now, but when I get to Bernie stuff, it does not have an A in it. So I just gotta avoid that upgrade. But the burning stuff's also gonna do damage due to the upgrade itself. But I also have that same argument with the crossbow. So I'm not exactly sure how to handle that. I think it's gonna be all right. Increased accuracy is now acquired, but I need to make sure I'm able to save up both of these amounts for that various reason. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's okay. So we're gonna move this target away get Bernie stuff up and signal flare and move it back to this area. We probably should do something with these ninja monkeys here, but I threw them down just for the camo detection. Now we have a camo detection remover device. Ninjas probably are not really worth having here, but no reason to really sell them because I'm not going to get anything out of them. Shattering shells also has an A in it. I think that's going to be actually great because... Our MOA popping power isn't the best right now, but shattering shells can help us with that problem, especially whenever they become fortified in like the early 60s. Maybe after we get shattering shells, I can try saving up for like an arc mage or some fifths here, maybe a glaive lord as well. But right now, shattering shells is ours, has an A in it. Time to save up some money and see if we struggle somewhere else. Our first BFB. All right. I feel pretty good about it though. Arcane spike does massive damage against blimps like itself. And there we go. And this is where our shattering shells came into play on round 62. Here's 63. Pretty difficult round overall, but I think we're doing all right here. Looks pretty good. We're here on round 70 and so far nothing's really been noteworthy of talking about. But we are pretty close to getting Archmage. We are able to get Glaive Lord any minute now. There it is. But I want to go for the Archmage because I feel like if I get Glaive Lord it's kind of like an automatic win. Same thing with Archmage probably. Pretty much any fifth tier and hard. But I don't typically go for the Archmage. I go for Glaive Lord all the time. So let's go for Archmage whenever we can afford it in the next round or two. And Archmage is now up. Oh my god, there's thunder. It just started raining like five minutes ago, and now it's starting to thunder, so that's lovely. So if you hear any cracks of lightning, yeah, that's because it's currently raining. If that wasn't freaking obvious. Anyways, it's round 74. I don't see ourselves really losing here. Unless something random happens, maybe the ZOMG is very difficult. Around 79 is a problem. I don't know. Overall, feeling pretty splendid. Hopefully my power don't go out, because that would be funny if it does. Actually, it wouldn't, because I'm pretty sure I'll lose this entire recording. So, if you're seeing this, congratulations to me, I guess. I don't lose power. It is coming down hard. Hard. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but man, this came out of absolutely nowhere. All right, round 80. Please, I want to get this video done before my power gets cut out because that'd be funny. So we have $20,000 saved up to buy nothing. I'm just trying to get this... ZOMG pop before I lose power and lose this recording, which would be hilarious. ZOMG should be getting down, so you know what? I'm just going to do my outro now so I can stop this recording. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this random video, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.